The beautiful Wookiee homeland of Kashyyyk it was once a majestic place where the Wookiee people thrived. However, war has torn apart these Wookiee people. Venators have landed on the planet to help and defend the Wookiees from the Separatist droid army. The currently barren sandy beaches, beautiful with their clear water and white pearly sand, will soon be filled with battle droids and clone troopers. A large war machine has arrived. What's going on gamers? It's your boy Daily Tactics here and today we are in Minecraft baby. I heard what you guys were asking for. A battle of Kashyyyk in Minecraft and we are going to be doing that right here right now today. So here we have the 41st Elite Core in their standard Phase 1 Clone Trooper armor because there aren't Phase 2 uh, green 41st Elite Core Troopers, sadly. Uh, so, you know, we got to use our imaginations a little bit here. There are game restrictions, but uh, at least we have Clone Troopers here. We've got some Chain Gunners. We've got some DC-15A Troopers. We've got TX-130T Tanks, and they are defending the beaches against the boarding battle droid army here the droids are coming in from just about everywhere a few of them came in across this river to flank the clone troopers the droids of course have b1s and commando droids uh and they also flanked on the far left over there as well uh then of course there is the main landing force here aats b1 battle droids and commando droids coming down the middle of the battlefield please bear with me because this is my first time ever doing a custom battle in minecraft i promise they will get better that is of course if you would like to see more of these i'd be happy to do more it's been kind of fun to set it up and stuff like that uh but yeah should be epic we're starting off on the uh you know initial landing here and we will later go inland 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 until the clone trooper last stand either way let's get it going here boys be sure to hit the like button subscribe if you have not already we're trying to hit 400k by the end of the year and comment down below what you'd like to see next either way let's get it popping Alrighty then here we go unfreezing npcs and the battle begins baby here we go clone troopers battle droids it's all coming together baby tons of fire going out from both sides you can see the lasers shooting across the map here some clone troopers going down some battle droids going down commando droids also dying out as the battle rages on over here tx 130t launching their explosive rounds here catching fire to the enemy aats and likewise happening to them of course the left flank seems to be going okay for the clone troopers and is holding however more towards the middle the clones are having a tougher time that being said, lots of dead B1 battle droids and commando droids down the middle as well. AAT is struggling to help their infantry here. As for the clone troopers down the middle, they are also increasingly losing more and more troopers to the battlefield. It is a pretty devastating battle all around. Further inland here, we have commando droids making their way inside the clone trooper lines here. Clone troopers having to fight back skin and teeth here. It is tough. Dead TX-130T on the ground right there. From these commando droids, they managed to take it out. Let's see if these clone troopers can destroy the remaining commandos here before they all go down. One clone trooper does end up dying right there. But on the far right over here, things are looking a lot better for the clone troopers. Very few of them dead over here and a lot of the droids dead opposite them. And in fact, most of the droids are still secluded to the beach itself. Very little progress has been made. Uh, and even down the middle, I mean, the clones are still doing aight over here. They're hanging out and uh, defending whenever the droids come into line of sight over here. This B1 getting in some trouble over here, pushing deeper and deeper in. Oh, oh, he's just allowed in, huh? Oh, no, he's not. We got a clone chain gunner taking him out right now with his uh, incoming fire. There we go. He is dead. Commando droid following suit trying to come in, take out some of these clone troopers. Oh, <laughs> we're getting into derpy levels of battle now. <laughs> it is a Minecraft battle simulator. It's not exactly going to be, uh, you know, pristine, I would say. It is, uh, it's definitely got some flaws to it. They're, they're dueling a little bit here. 
Oh, the clone trooper does get slain right there. But we've even got some more incoming fire over here as some of these clone troopers are uh, interacting more with some of the beachgoers here. Interesting, interesting, interesting. All right, well, things seem to have slowed down, so let's go into wave two. I'd say the clones are going to get some reinforcements. The droids will too. Let's see what happens. All right, the battle droid army has, in fact, gotten some reinforcements here in the form of B1 battle droids. Uh, and, of course, they've replenished the rest of their army. The clones replenished their lines as well as best they can. It is still going to be a tough battle, but maybe the clones can withstand round two here of the battle droid army. Let's check out what ends up happening here as we unfreeze the NPCs and fire begins to commence once more. Clone troopers holding their trenches on the beach here. Firing out at the incoming droids. The droids doing likewise here. It is full scale invasion here on Kashyyyk. We've got explosive rounds coming in, of course, from the enemy tanks. Clones should be responding with TX-130 T-Fire of their own here. It is a brutal battle all around. Lots of shots getting fired. No one is safe on this battlefield here. Ooh, the left side for the clone troopers getting absolutely smashed to smithereens by battle droid invaders here. Commando droids also supplying some incoming fire. And, of course, that AAT is absolutely brutal. Clone troopers having to retreat further back, or rather, they're just getting pushed further and further back by the oncoming enemy here. TX-130T trying to supply some of these DC-15A clone troopers over here with some helpful fire, but it's just not enough. The droids just keep on coming, baby, and they keep on wiping out, wiping out their clone counterparts here. Oh, B1's charging on in here. Wow, they're really getting in deep right now on these clone troopers, attacking them from all sides, and the same seems to be happening on the far left over here as well. Clone Troopers getting heavy, heavy pressure here. Very few remaining. Some trying to hide in the weeds here and there. But it is fruitless at the moment as the droids just push inland. All right. I do say that the Battle Droid Army here did manage to take the beach and killed quite a number of Clone Troopers in the process. And now the clones will retreat back to fight on further. After taking the beaches, the Battle Droid Army chooses... To march inland but the organization it took for the droids to get in line gave the clone troopers time to set up ambush positions along their route towards the venator the clone troopers come out of the woods and now the battle droid army will have to fight while surrounded by clones the clone troopers will defend the venator and their heroes inside at all costs all right, gamers, the droids are heading inland, trying to get to the Venator Command Center, but the clone troopers are making a desperate ambush play to try and stop them. Let's check out what happens, baby. Unfreeze NPCs. Let's get it going. Here come the clone troopers fighting with all they got against the battle droid army coming at them here. They've also got two TX-130Ts at the entrance, the last of their armor right now. Commander droids and B-1 battle droids clapping a lot of the cheeks of the clone troopers trying to defend the side pathways here, or rather ambushing and attacking the battle droids. They've already taken out two AATs over here. That's not too shabby. That shows the skill that these clone troopers have. Even though these guys in the back don't have any armor for themselves, they're able to disable the enemy armor with relative ease. They are just that skilled, baby. Not to mention, we got clone troopers back here fighting against enemy infantry and doing a valiant job taking out many more B1 battle droids than the droids are managing to take out clone troopers. The middle seems to be going the way for the clone troopers, but uh, the very front here, I'm seeing a lot of dead clone troopers as they fight against the rest of these separatist forces here. The Seppies are really giving them a what for at this very moment in time. The TX-130Cs, though, still alive, still shooting, still taking out a lot of battle droids here. Not too shabba -labby. They need those things firing on overdrive right now uh, in order to win this thing and maybe knock down these battle droids. But one of the TX-130Ts right here actually does end up going down. They only have one remaining. It seems like the commando droids are making a play for the right flank of the clone troopers over here. 
They are moving in lickety split here, trying to take them down one by one. Clone Gunners holding as best they can. More reinforcements for the droids coming on in. Let's check the back lines back here real quick. Uh, it looks like these battle droids hunting in the woods for surviving clone troopers trying to take them out one by one. Uh, there's one guy here. I don't know why he ain't dead yet. What the heck, man? I imagine he'll die pretty soon. Yeah, the droids do seem to have won the back lines here, but just barely. The clones put up a great fight, but how is the front line going? We'll head back that way and check it out. It looks like the TX-130T did end up going down, uh, and there are still some clone troopers left alive they managed to take out just a few more droids right there they have held these doors now more commando droids moving in they managed to take out a couple more of these clone troopers with their incoming fire oh lordy yeah these clones are trying their best here but it might not be enough the droids with their full force attacking are a force to be reckoned with they are truly tricky, and there we go. The last of the clones do go down, so now the droids are going to be free to enter in to the Venators. I will be with, back with that in just a moment. The droid army moves in on the Venator and takes the hull easily. But the command center will not go down so easily. All right, guys, we're going to have two final battles in each bridge of the Venator. One over here where we have commandos, a generic clone trooper commander, and some security defending against these boys. Security droids start taking the bridge. Clone trooper commanders move out. Sorry, commandos, not commanders. There's also a tactical droid in here and Asajj Ventress. Let's get them down. And we will open this up as they break through. Tactical droid moving out. I don't even know what he does. He might hack and slash. Who knows? Asajj, Ven Asajj Ventress also moving out a little bit. What's going on, boys? Actually, the clones are defending. What is it? Is Asajj Ventress just, like, cool with them? Is she... Hello? <laughs> um... Well, that, um... Should I spawn her in again? I, I guess. Asajj... Ventress... No. Ven... Ventress. Ah, there we go. Here. Um. There you go. Boys! <laughs> um. Oh! That one whacked her. They're all just trying to escape down the hall. <laughs> well, this is messy. Hmm. Oh! We got a little action. Just a smidge. I... I don't know what's happening. Now they're attacking each other. Okay. The first bridge battle does not go well. We'll be back with the second bridge battle in just a second. In the second bridge, something else is happening. Clone troopers, commandos, and commander Gree wait for the arrival of their little green friend. A attack. Attack. I thought I programmed you guys to fight. What is this, Yoda? Oh my god. Give me a second. Alright, guys. I I am having trouble. I'm having trouble getting them to attack Yoda, even though I thought I set it up correctly. Um, so instead, we're just going to have uh, Separatist Elite Officers spawn in and try and take this bridge against Yoda. Uh, that'll be kind of interesting, right? I, I don't know, dude. <laughs> like I said, I'm still a noob with these battles. I hope you all understand. Uh, I'm really trying to get better at it, but... Uh, I, I've never used these types of Minecraft mods before. I, it, there's going to be a little bit of a learning curve, you know what I'm saying? So I, I hope you do understand. Um, I guess Order 66 didn't happen in the Minecraft world, but uh, Separatist Elite Officers uh, did raid Yoda's compound on his Venator. Maybe maybe this is pre-actual pre Battle of Kashyyyk. Maybe this is the first Battle of Kashyyyk. Oh my god, Gree and all of his clone troopers died. I guess these are Elite Separatist units, so... Uh, you know, maybe they pack a little bit meaner of a punch. That could be what it is. I'm not totally sure. The Jedi are kind of glitchy, man. Yoda, go ham, buddy. Go ham! Well, this isn't working. I have a different solution. Out of increasing amounts of frustration at not understanding how the programming of Minecraft NPCs works, I did something bad. Well, that doesn't work either, does it now? 
There we go. There we are. All right. Get ready for this, boys. Yeah! Woo, baby! Ha! <laughs> we blew up one of the bridges of the Venator! Let's go! Woo! Hey, yeah, Yoda's still alive. Keep chilling. I'll help you out yet, already. Oh, uh, can these guys... They're invincible. How about that? Oh, no, Yoda, run! Oh, he's fine. <laughs> he's a-okay. I don't know, it could be kind of fun video just to blow up an entire Venator in Minecraft. I don't know, dude, it could be kind of sick! <laughs> Alright guys, that's going to be about it for today's video. I know I'm a huge noob at uh, Minecraft programming and stuff. I, I mean, I've been playing Minecraft for years, but like, NPCs and... What the heck? Carpentry bench? Weird. Uh, <laughs> NPCs and the way they work, and, and, uh, you know, I'm using the custom NPC battle mod, as well as this Clone Wars mod, I'm kind of a noob, and I, I hope you guys do understand, you know, I'm trying my best to learn and, and figure out how, how to do everything here, and, and make these battles work, um, and, and I really hope it is enjoyable, I promise I will get better, if you guys, of course, want to see more of this, I'm not sure if you do, if you do, please let me know in the comment section below, uh, remember to like the video if you did enjoy, subscribe if you haven't already, both of those things just help me out a ton, and comment down below what you'd like to see next. I know there are some cool custom maps we could look at, could be kind of fun, who knows, who knows. Either way, thank you all so much for watching, your support really means a lot to me. I'll see you on the next one, peace! I hope you guys enjoyed that video, be sure to click that subscribe button for more content, and hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted to whenever I live stream or upload. Thanks so much.